Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, I'll send in as fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Spirit Bear. Last episode, we uh, did some more running around, exploring, taking care of things, and more stuff going on. So, we're basically just wandering around until things happen at this point. So, yeah. I'm gonna see if there's, like, anything of note out in this side of places. Maybe we'll stumble upon new locations or something around here, I don't know. And hopefully, Jackie and Buck, the last two people I think we have, will, uh, continue on with their stories. I mean, I can hope. Let's just head over here. Not like I really have much to do. We've gotten some more upgrades for the garden and the field, finally. Including what I think is basically a way to mean you don't have to water it as often, which... Freaking finally, it took long enough. Um, are there any other upgrades we can actually get that I care about right now? Let's see, that's been upgraded. That's fully done. Oh! Oh, oak planks! Yeah, we can get some oak planks there. Also, we're almost out of fire glow. We should probably find some more. Yeah, oak planks. Let me uh, make a couple of those. Oh, missed that. Uh, missed the end of that one. And we found the, uh, the limits here. So can we see what this looks like, by the way? Yeah, that's just, uh, that's just darkness and evil. So we can't go that way. Not too surprised. Uh... Yes, head down to here. Right then, the orchard. Wait a minute. Oh! I need to buy it for each of these? I thought one upgrade got him for all of them. Well, that's honestly kind of stupid. No wonder I've been getting so few of these. Okay, fine then. That needs silk, bottled ectoplasm, and hematite, which I can actually kind of get. That's not something I can do. Let's make the silk. Oh. That's the end of the silk. So where are we exactly? I mean, there's fish over there. I guess head in this direction. Maybe there's something. Actually, we should probably rest so that morning can come and maybe we'll be able to continue on the stories. Ah, good. You have something you want to talk about. Good, good. Hey. 
Hey, Stella, we... Uh, we need to have a talk. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing good, Stella. Like, not at all. I know I act tough and all, but truth be told, I don't think I've ever been doing good. Oh. Shit, you know... Oh, you really do get on my nerves sometimes. Always so happy or caring, just sparkly. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you do it. I've seen those people you care for. I know them because I've cared for them, too. Mm -hmm. And yeah, sure, some of them are nice and all. But most of them, pardon my language, they're assholes. Nitpicky, demanding, rude. But you, everything just seems seems to just glide over you. Some old cuckoo yells at you because their pudding's the wrong color, and you just, you just smile, softly, gently, always. And then you magically fix the situation. You're always the first to arrive, the last to leave, and I've never heard you bad-mouthing a patient. As for me, I... I need help, Stella. Whenever I try to get better on my own, I just wind up sliding back in a dark place. I'm so sick of being angry all the time. I think it's time I stop kidding myself. I'm not a caretaker. I can't even take care of myself. So, you know, guess you have a new patient now. I'm sorry to be a burden like that. Not that I know of any other way to live. So, now that the hard thing's been said, my room, it's a little bare, don't you think? I want a fresh start, but I'm not sure a naked jail cell is the way to go. When I think of something, I'll just ask this straight. No games. For the moment, though, could you get me, like, some posters mm -hmm. or something? I can't stand the concrete walls anymore. I really need them covered up. I feel like I'm getting cabin fever in there. I'm almost at the make a girlfriend out of mashed potatoes point right now. Motivational posters. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, and the bees are ready. Yay, we got a honey. Also, you appear to be hungry. Um, have some grilled fish. And, okay, no need for a hug. I should probably cook some fish, just to have it. I mean, it's a simple enough thing. Or, cut, or cook a bunch of clams. That works, too. No, I think we've got plenty of, the, plenty of steamed clams. Let's get the fish cooked. I should have some. There, cook some souls. Not the souls we're ferrying. That would be stupid. Alright, uh... A bronze sheet and a clear glass sheet. Yeah, we can make those. Still nothing around here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's not really anything to look at. Alright, let's go make bronze and glass. Yeah, bronze and clear glass. One bronze. Go. And now the clear glass. Thankfully, easy enough. And there we go. And made it. Oh, interesting. There's some there may be something in here. All right, and Motivational posters. Be the change that you want for the life inside of you, or don't bother. No second guessing. There you go. Yo, there we go. Yeah, I thought it would help, but yeah, it really doesn't. 
I don't need to hang in there, whatever that means. And I certainly shouldn't be proud like a tiger. Are tigers even proud, like at all? Nah, lack of pride's certainly not the problem. I just... I'm... I'm selfish is what it is. I just think of myself, I act rashly, and I wind up hurting people. Mm -hmm. Hurting a lot of people, actually. And hurting them bad, and then... Oh. Then even if I try to make it better, it's too late. This shit, Stella, it, it sucks. And when you try to brush it away, you just wind up smearing it. Mm. You're just stuck with it, and there's nothing more to it. Old Jackie. Yeah, I don't think I can ever get over it. I really thought the posters would help. Turns out they just make me feel terrible. Mm. But it might be good. Maybe I deserve to feel terrible. What? No, don't make that face. I'm serious, you know? Okay, I've got another idea. I think I might need to focus on something else. You know, check out a ho check out of Hotel Jackie. Just for a while. I was thinking of a plant, but I'm pretty sure I'd just kill it. How about something that can't be killed? Maybe like a little sand garden with rocks and stuff. It's kind of like meditation, I guess. Did you get me that? A zen garden? Yeah, I can work on that. Let's head on over. Okay, what do we need for a Zen Garden? One steel sheet and the rest for good. A delicately handcrafted miniature Zen Garden complete with miniature boulders, miniature sand, and a miniature rake. A steel sheet is all we need there, is it? Oh, well, that's easy. Yeah, we can get one of those fish. How is the cooking going, by the way? Oh, it's almost done. Yeah, I'll wait here and let it finish. It'll be just a couple seconds, I think. There we go. And loads of fresh fish. And here we are. Let's see, one steel sheet. We're gonna need to make some more iron ingots because we're just about out. Dang it. Come on already. There we go, that'll do it for the upgrade. I'll go check there in a minute. Let's get the upgrade. There you go. He's going over there now. I'll just fish whatever tuna is here first. Oh, the upgrade really does help. I guess go in here see if there's anything. Alright, Jackie, does the Zen Garden help at all? I have a feeling the answer's gonna be no. And neat! Oh, a stone garden! I'm kinda surprised, actually. I didn't think you'd go through with it. It's kinda silly, isn't it? Anyway, let's see what we're working with here. Well, the sand is nice. It's got a cool color. And it's very fine, but still has some texture to it. And the stones, they're very... pleasant? Got ni a nice weight, very stone-like. Even the little wooden rake is all pretty. It's all very soothing. My dad had a little sand garden in his office. Just like that, but uh, much smaller. I always wanted to play with it, but he didn't let me. I guess that's the real reason I've asked you for one. Just to get back at him. 
But you know, he deserved it. The man, hell, he was, um, he was, he was okay. Shit, I'm doing it again. I'm lying for no goddamn reason. Mom and Pops were okay. They had their issues, sure, but I'm not messed up because of them. No, that one's on me. I don't know why I keep telling these tall tales like the one about my grandpa. Truth is, I barely knew him. I saw him once a year. When I was old enough, he tried to teach me about bees. I was just a dumb teenager. I didn't care. And then he died. So now I am a dumb adult who knows jack shit about bees. Guess I want to believe that my childhood messed me up. Otherwise, I have to own up to my own shitty behavior. Yeah, maybe that's just who I am. Shitty and broken. <laughs> That'd be fitting. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks for the garden, Stella. I'll, uh, see ya. Rain really ruins a day, doesn't it? How do you feel about poached fruit? And I'll give you a hug, too. I'm pretty sure you need it. Okay. Nothing else to do from you, I guess. For now, anyway. Yeah, this is a dead end. Head on down this way, maybe we'll find something, I don't know. I mean, there's not much else I can do with these. I've gotten most of the upgrades I cared about. Oh, bottled ectoplasm and silk. Yeah, I can work on that. Yeah, let's make some silk. barrier again. Doesn't really surprise me. I guess we can grab these crates. Plant the coffee beans. Oh, Jackie wants to talk. Sure, give me a minute. Now, yeah, let me just uh, grab this. Got it now! Mm -hmm. Stella! I have something else to ask you, and I think this might be the one thing that I'm missing. You know how I never went to school? Well, I mean, I did, but I dropped out of high school. So I figured, maybe the problem is that I'm not smart enough? I got all this energy, but I don't know what to do with it, because I was never taught. That's an easy problem to solve, I just need to get smarter. And the best way to do that is with books. I didn't care for them when I was a teenager, I didn't have the patience. But now that I'm a serious adult, I'm sure I can make it up super easy. Could you get some for me? Self-help books. Only well, we can surely try. Let me check the improvement here. We need pulsar ingots, a crystal glass, and a rose gold. Okay. I'll make the crystal glass and rose gold first. See if there's anything down here. Actually, the Pulsar ingots are going to be relatively easy, I think. I just... I haven't made any Pulsar ingots in a while.
Yeah, this one's fine enough. There we go. Was it crystal glass? I know one was rose gold. What was the other thing again? I already forgot. Crystal glass and rose gold. Also, there's really nothing around here. But let's go make crystal glass and a rose gold. Right here. Crystal glass first. Ah, oh, we need to make some silica powder. We're just about out. And still, Buck has basically entered a, entered a moment of what the hell do we do now? There's the crystal glass. And now the rose gold. Maybe we need to actually find some place to actually stop. And then we'll get like a delivery or something. Guess we can do that. I guess go over to Edgeboro Lane for now. Let's go finish this. Do I need any assistance? No. Oh, the frickin' rose gold. There we go. Let's get the upgrade or improvement or whatever. There we go, self-help books. I'm pretty sure we need a rest now. May as well, I mean. Then wake everyone up. See what happens. <sighs> All right, everyone up. Sure takes me back. Maybe I'd have turned out different if I'd stayed in school. When I dropped out, my parents kicked me out of the house. They... Shit. No, they didn't kick me out. Not right away, anyway. I just spent the next couple of years freeloading. I don't even remember what I did with all my time. Nothing, probably. They were pretty nice about it, but after a while we started arguing. Like, a lot, and over nothing. And then I moved out. I was just too proud, and we pretty much stopped talking. So I guess they didn't kick me out at all. Mm -hmm. You know the rest of the story. I needed a job, and the hospital was so understaffed that they just hired anyone. What a shit decision that was. Oh. Yeah, better get into these books. Thanks, Stella. His house has gained a lot. More than just what I gave him. 
he's clearly trying to improve, improve his strength and such, too. Alright, Buck, where are you? I've gone to a location, but really there's nowhere else left for me to look at. I've basically explored everywhere. There's no other locations for me. There's nothing else for me to really do. What's in Flotsam Shores? There must be something I missed there. Let's go there, see what we find. Yes, good morning. And you want a meal? Sure, um... I just made a load of fish. How about some steamed shellfish? And I'll give you a hug, too. There you go, much happy. Hold on, what was that thing about Jackie? Was helped out by Jackie. Yeah, you could use something to eat. I don't know what you... You dislike healthy food, but I don't know what you like aside... What you, uh, like. Uh, how about... How about a honey ham? Damn right, a meaty dish! You know, Stellars, I'm a big boy. Only meat can give me the protein to sustain my body. It ain't rocket science. Okay, so he likes meat. And dislikes healthy food. You know what, that kind of makes some sense. Okay, so there's something on this place that I missed. Right, this is a whole hidden place. It was Flotsam something. I think I need to look up the, uh... Look up the map for this. Give me a moment. Never mind! Looking at the wiki here I found, it looks like there's one... Right here. Son of a bitch. Okay, fine. I got that. Oh good, Jackie wants to speak. Stella, I'm... I'm in a bad way, Stella. I don't know how you can stand the sight of me. I can't even stand myself. The books. I hate them. They're just a load of apologetic bullshit. They all say the same thing. Be the change that you want to see in the world. Ask for forgiveness. There's always time to be better. Do you think I can get better? Do you think I deserve forgiveness? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. Little doe-eyed Stella. You're smart, but you're an idiot. People don't change. Know why? All these books, they say you can change by acting different. They're all looking forwards into the future. But the future doesn't exist. It's just a big whole bunch of nothing. A bag of lies we tell ourselves so that we can be happy. In comic books, the heroes forgive the villain and then he joins their team and everything's good forever. We conveniently forget that they've raised a whole city. 
They're genocidal maniacs, but it's okay, because forgiveness. Real life ain't like that. People, they're made up of all the things they've done. Good or bad, doesn't matter. Same for everybody. You can't ever change your past, no matter how much you hate it. You just gotta go own, own up to it. And what if you can't? Nothing. That's what. Listen, Stella, I'm sick of it. I give up. It was a fun ride. Actually, it was shit. Just... Just give me a holler when we get to the other door. I'll get out of everyone's way. Oh, shit. I think it's pretty clear. He was grappling with depression pretty horribly. And I think what he just said there implies that when he went on, it was from, uh, suicide. That has to be what happened. Yeah, thank you for the snacks, but I need you to continue on your story. I'll probably... I'm gonna do some looking to see if I can figure out where... how we continue his story. Because it's getting annoying at this point. He's the last one left. There's... can't be much more left to this. We're almost done. Next episode, we'll take Jackie to the Everdoor and try and figure out what to do about Buck. Till then, I am Chester44, also known as Philae. That is Stella and Daffodil. This has been a Let's Play of Spiritfarer. I shall see you all next time.